It's Wednesday, which means it's time for First Look. Today, we're looking at Inbox.life. What is it? Well, it's secure end-to-end -end messaging, only using your MetaMask. I have here a camera. This is going to be very, very important later, as we're going to be talking to that man over there via the power of MetaMask. All of that coming up after this message from our sponsors. Don't let high gas costs keep you out of Ethereum. A balance of the gas-optimized vault architecture makes trading cheaper than anywhere else. Liquidity providers can optimize their fee earnings using the dynamic fee system that automatically adjusts to market conditions. You can also use asset managers to lend out idle assets, dramatically increasing your capital efficiency. And because Balancer is an open platform for flexible automated markets, you can choose from stable pools or weighted pools, and in the future, more designs will be created that they don't even know about yet. Check it out at balancer.fi. DeFi users, you no longer need to pay expensive and unpredictable interest rates on your ETH loans. Liquity, a decentralized borrowing protocol, allows you to borrow against your ETH interest free. Loans are paid out in LUSD, a USD-pegged stablecoin, and need to maintain a minimum collateral ratio as low as 110%. To learn more, head over to liquidity.org forward slash defiant to get started and get the most out of your borrowing needs today. So let's get straight into it. This is an end-to-end -end encrypted wallet-to-wallet -wallet communication protocol tool type thing. We have two young children sitting there. They're not wearing shoes. That's bad news. Also, if you look at them, you've got to pull the string tight, guys. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Sound waves propagate along a taut line. They won't do it if the line is slack. Well, slack, that's a messaging tool slash bunch of other things, but that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about a messaging tool specifically for Web3. You're gonna connect to Inbox with MetaMask, which allows you to chat to other users and it uses ENS, but why on earth would you need such a thing? We have Telegram, we have Discord, we have messaging sorted already. Not like this we don't though. Think about this, NFTs, bloody NFTs. We trade them all the time and you find an NFT you like on OpenSea, you put a bid on it, you put an offer on it, but once you do that, well, there's pretty much nothing you can do. It's not like um, eBay or other marketplaces where you can message the buyer and message the seller. Now, this hilarious medium post from Uriel Ahayan came up with a solution for how to message anyone on OpenSea. And I read this and thought, wow, this guy's figured it out, a way for me to directly contact a seller of an NFT and say, hey, listen, I really like your NFT. Can we do a deal? Can we figure this out? Uh, his solution was to send them an NFT with a message on it. So here's a, an NFT. This NFT was meant for somewhere else and you got it before they had the chance to buy it from me. I'll make you something for free if you'll gift it to them immediately. Anyway, this is not really a solution, is it? Sending somebody an NFT and hoping that they see it because, well, unsolicited NFTs just end up in your hidden tab most of the time. But that's basically the solution that was come up with here. And it's not a solution at all, it's a hack. But Parallel Alpha, who made the trading card game Parallel, uh, they decided that they needed to come up with something to allow users of the game, owners of these NFTs, to connect with each other. And that's because trading card games are inherently social. You wanna trade, you wanna play games, you wanna talk strategy with people, you wanna talk. But it's very, very difficult to do that in Web3 at the moment. So. They wanted to create a secure encrypted messaging system that wasn't tied to email or phone. And I do have to give a shout out to Parallel Alpha because if you look at the collection, the cards, the design, the artwork is pretty stunning. I've always really just loved just the visual aesthetic of Parallel. So the challenge they have is um, they need this to live on the web but there's no secure way to store plain text in the browser. And it's not practical to execute a transaction for every message in Metagast because then you're incurring massive fees. But they also wanted to use the private key security um, of officially supported methods in Metamask itself. So here's what they came up with. Here's the diagram. I'll be honest, I don't really understand any of it, but apparently it allows you to do exactly this. So let's do exactly that and let's get straight into it. So this is the website inbox and I think the O is a zero. So in, but e -O, uh, but O X dot life. 
So here's what it says. Inbox Beta supports MetaMask software wallets. Uh, they will add additional wallet types in the future. Imagine Portis or um, Fortmatic or Coinbase wallet probably as well. And so to use it, you have to connect your MetaMask wallet. I've already done so. And then in order to get started, I have to activate and sign a message. That's the first step. And now I need to generate a secure inbox key which I will do. And now I'm in business. So I can now send a new message and I want to send it to gazimov.eth. He's sitting over there. So we should, should be able to uh, figure out whether this works or not. So I'm gonna send a message now, which is along the lines of, why haven't you finished the edit yet? <laughs> Sign to send. And that is now sending the message. So what we're going to do now <laughs> is head on over to Alp, who's sitting over there, and see whether or not this message actually arrived. The power and the amazement of video. Alp Gazimov, here he is. What do you have to say for yourself? Nothing, really. I'm just checking your, my inbox here. And he's, he's... I see a message from robinschmidt.eth. Why haven't you finished the edi edit yet? You know that what we do is editing, right? Yeah. It's not that's, editing. That's it's the, not, but, but it's not it said Eddie there, so that's why. It doesn't, uh, it says edit. You yeah. muppet. Okay. You muppet. Uh, I'm a muppet. <laughs> not. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna send this message to you and let's see if it arrives or not. Wow, you're so good at YouTube. <laughs> Alp Gazimov, everyone. So good at YouTube. So there we go, we're back on the screen and if we allow it to, yeah, there we go. And you see that was pretty fast. This is secure end to end. So now I will be able to identify the owner of a NFT and send them a direct message as long as they have this set up. That's the caveat, as long as they have this set up. But we do and it works and it's beautiful. Thank you very much Parallel Alpha. I've been waiting for this for a long time. If you have any suggestions for us to cover in first look, do please drop them in the comments below. If you liked what we make, then do consider subscribing. I'm so bad at doing the YouTube call out CTA sign off crap. You know I am, I hate it. But at the same time, we're so close to 100K. Help us get there. I'll see you on the next one.